hello friends welcome back to node.js tutorial so we are going to discuss about the api related things with node.js so how we can create api we already discussed about the basic get api post api so in this video we are going to discuss about how to update some data so we'll discuss about the put api right so if you don't see the previous video i recommend you please see from the beginning so that will help you very much and the links are provided in the description section right so now in this video we are going to start with the uh, um, put api so how we can do this simply uh, let's create another api so write app dot put okay and still i'm using the same url but it will not conflict so why not conflict because the method is different right and still we are using the request response in this way so basically this is the parameter we need and we are using the arrow function so basically arrow function introduced in the igma script 2015 or you can say we script 6 right and already i discussed about the igma script tutorial now i am not going to discuss about that things and here we just going to update some data through the postman so this is my api testing tool and i am going to create another url and that will be put not click on send because we have not done anything here and let's check whether the put api is working or not simply here write put api working so we are consoling this thing so let's see in the terminal and post api working so we need to uh, hit that url actually so put and click on send and go to the terminal yes put api working that means we are in this code right now the basic purpose of put api is to update some data so we will just create a, a temporary data suppose constant data and let's create some data with the array format and here just uh, pass some data so how we need to pass so there is some rule to pass some data so simply let's create a query first so con query so how we get a con basically we are created connection.js and con is my object to access this connection and we are uh, creating connection here using mysql connection we are getting or fetching data right now the connection is done and we need to write the query so update so we will do update operations here so update students set name so we will first do statically and after that we will test with through the postman so name equal to question mark so what is the name basically name will come from here right so simply write zenith okay so this is the name and this is the first occurrence of question marks you get the first value from this data now this comma and again just write email so we have actually name email and phone and let's add another question mark and this will appear from here so simply write Janet at the rate email dot com and again let's add comma and phone again question mark and that question mark will come from here so random number something right so these are the update query and finally we have a callback function so simply just pass the data which actually set from above the uh, line and now just we use error and the response right so simply write response and again this is a um, error function and here simply we can handle this error by using this so this is basically the error handling so if anything error will get error other will it will send the result but the thing is why we need to update means if i just execute these things it will update in the all places so i don't need these things i need to update with a particular identification id means particular id so we need to use the where clause so simply write where id equal to something so we'll pass from the here so this is the fourth question mark so it will get 
id from here so if i just want to update the data from 8 simply write 8 so it will take and update the data so let's check whether it's working or not so simply just uh, go here and it's put and click on send and it's not getting anything so i think there may have some error so let's just go to the terminal waiting for the file change before starting so throw error why error is the problem so let's check so here err error so actual the problem is we are using the result the sort from and we are using these things here so we can do we can use the result here so we'll getting the result and we are passing so simply just go to the postman again and try to send and i think this should be okay okay so effect rows is one and server status two that means all are okay it's 200 okay so now if i just going to check whether the value is updated or not so just go to the browser and let's check the eight so refresh we are getting these are updated okay so that's simple but in this way in real life we never update because when you update we need some type of parameter we need to make it dynamic it means we need to pass the id here so to update the record from 8 we simply use uh, we'll pass 8 from here or if you want to update the record for 9 simply pass from here so the thing is how we can do this simply we are passing this id from here and in the same way we need to accept that id also right and these are coming from the request so we are requesting that things from the url so we'll get in this way so request dot params dot id okay so we'll get the id from here and we can update from here right so you can check there is the fourth and one two three four okay so this will replace from here so if i just write here genith 2 and let's run from the postman and where is the id the id is 8 so let's run this 8 and click on send and it's affecting and now let's check it's updating another thing so we are getting the id from here but not data how to pass data i want to pass data from here so simply how you can pass this so simply just go body and uh, raw section and we'll pass using the json format right post section we are passing the data in this way so we'll pass that data from here also right and um suppose the i want to change some data suppose run it two or run it two and i have to update with the 8 right so here we are passing that data but we need to accept that data from here so simply just go to the visual studio code and here right we are getting the request from the body section so request dot body dot name so we are getting the name so that's reason its name and for email that will be the email and for phone that will be the phone so simply just email and phone okay and right here phone and if i just want to change something so i just changing and i want to update with the id 8 so let's see once again this is the genith but i want to change with the roni 2 and click on send before that let's check we saved or not right so click on send and it's affected one rows insert id 0 that is no insertion but server status is 2 and it's 200 okay so now just go here and let's see where value is updating so this is basically the process how we can do the update operation using node mysql right now tell me what is your queries or if you still have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section the next day we are going to discuss about the last things that is the delete operation how delete operation is actually doing here how delete is actually working here so please like and subscribe this channel 
for upcoming video thanks for your support thanks for watching this video have a good day bye